Hey Canucks fans, day two of training camp is now in the books. The bag skate replaced by a scrimmage. I'm sure the players didn't mind. I'm Canuck Clay, I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. This is my Canucks take on one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Friday, September the 24th. If you're new, this is what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. And as always, this vlog is brought to you by Perform and Transform, personal training and weight loss. Sign up for a free seven day trial now using the link in my video description below. I'm really excited that I'll be at Abbotsford Center tomorrow for day three, the final day of the three day training camp. So maybe I'll run into you. Maybe I'll be able to say a quick hello if you're out there as well tomorrow. But let's talk about day two today. The middle day was today wrapped up um, with not um, a bag skate, but indeed a scrimmage. And the way they did it is group A, the one that started in the morning yesterday, ended up going in the afternoon today. So what that was, was basically a swap, and they wore the white jerseys. Whereas Group B, the ones that were in the afternoon yesterday, they were in the morning today, and they ended up wearing the blue jerseys. So basically, no surprise, Group A, the white jersey team, the team that did not practice in the morning, beat Group B, the blue jersey team, the team that just finished the practice, 3 nothing. So Group A, uh, the one that won, the white, let's call them white and blue for today. Uh, the, the white team that won 3 nothing. They, they're the team that had Horvat, Hoaglander, Besser, and Pearson, along with Oliver ekman Larson, Tucker Pullman, and the goaltending tandem of Demko and Silov. So Demko and Silov uh, combined to, to get the shutout. Whereas uh, the Team Blue, they had Podkolzin, Garland, Miller, Dickinson. On the back end, they had Myers, Rathbone, and Ulevi, and their goaltenders were, um, were Halak, DiPietro, and Martin. So, 3 nothing win for Team White, and the goals were scored by defenseman Kyle Burrows. He scored the first goal, and then that was followed by a goal by um, Jonah Gajevic, and then Nick Patan rounded out the scoring for Team White. So, overall, um, I, 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 from what I've seen, got a loud family outside my car, but that's fine. Uh, I, I enjoy families, of course. I just prefer if they talked further away. Okay, we're good. <laughs> was that was that mean to me? Anyways, um, so from what I've heard, nothing too spectacular. No like fights. I, I saw a couple of highlights of a, a couple good checks, but nothing too crazy. Nothing that's going to be a big story. But uh, it was good to see the guys playing uh, an actual scrimmage, and I'm sure the players didn't mind doing a scrimmage as opposed to a bag skate. Now. I talked this morning about line combinations and the fact that Patan's playing between Pedersen and, and uh, sorry, playing in the place of Pedersen between Besser and Hoglander and things like that. So we can't read too much in that yet. We can, Travis Green kept the line combinations and the deep, uh, deep pairings, he switched a little bit, but the line combinations, he kept the same today as, as yesterday. What's really interesting too is, is don't forget that usually the Canucks have three um, three training camp groups. They have group A, a group B, and a group C. And usually the pros and those that are expected to at least battle for a spot play in group A and group B. And then there's a, a third group of group C, guys that kind of skate afterwards. It's not as big of a group. And those are kind of guys that really don't have a chance to, to make the team. Rather, they're there for depth purposes and to, to have a training camp experience. And we remember this because uh, last year, Jake Vertanen, after one day, was actually placed in Group C after a, a very bad day one. Well, this year, there aren't three groups because the Canucks are so shorthanded. They had seven guys out today. Pedersen, of course, with a contract uh, renegotiation. Then Tyler Mott, who is hurt, but he was skating after the scrimmage, which was good. Then you have Brandon Sutter, and you have Justin Bailey, who found out is vaccinated but still contracted COVID in the States. And then Carson Falk. I'm always careful how I say that last name. But you have five forwards. So instead of the 31 forwards that you could split maybe 12, 12, and 7, right, uh, to a group C, you only had, instead of 31 forwards, you only had 26 forwards. So that's why, or 27 forwards, I should say. So then you had 13 and 13 or, or whatever they end up doing. They had 26 or 27 forwards. But my point is, they didn't have enough to field um, a full, you know, a, a, a third squad. Same with D. Instead of having 18 defensemen, you only had six defensemen with both Quinn Hughes out, his contract renegotiation, and Travis Hamnick, personal reasons. So instead of 18, instead of going 6-6 six, six, or even 7-7 seven, seven, and 4, now you only you have 8-8, eight and eight, and then you basically run four D pairs. So, um, and then, of course, the five goalies. So instead of 31 
18 and 5, which made the original 54, you now have 26, 16, and 5. 26, 16, and 5. 26, 16, that's 42 and 5. 47 instead of 54. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, five forwards out, two and two defensemen out. No, but I thought I saw 27 forwards listed. Doesn't matter. My point is there wasn't enough for three squads, so that's why you only went A and B. So, two days of training camp in the books. Now we have day three of training camp. So a couple things to look out for. I think if Alec Chason makes the team, he's got to sign his contract at the end of training camp because you can't play an exhibition game without being under contract. So that's one thing to look at is what will happen to Alex Chason between tomorrow, Saturday, and their first preseason game on Sunday. Unless, I guess you don't have to sign him right away if you're not going to use him in the first few preseason games. Maybe you wait a little bit and, and still take make that uh, time to make that decision. So that's one thing to look at. Alex Chason, the only guy there on a PTO. I guess the other interesting thing will be what happens tomorrow. I'm sure they'll flip it again where Group A will will skate first and then Group B will skate in the afternoon and then they'll have their scrimmage, I'm sure, again. And this time Group A will be the tired group. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But let's see what happens with the line combinations, with the D pairings, and then you split your squad because half the team will go down to Seattle, to actually technically to Spokane, to play the Kraken on Sunday night, whereas the other half will stay in town, not have to make that quick trek, and then they'll prepare for the Monday night game in Abbotsford um, uh, against Calgary on Monday night. So we have we have hockey. We have hockey to look forward to, and I'm excited about it. Uh, so day three of training camp tomorrow, I will be there. Then half the squad in Spokane on Sunday night for preseason game number one. Then half the squad in uh, Abbotsford the second night on Monday night for game number two against the Calgary Flames. And in between all that, maybe a lot of talk about line combinations, about deep pairings, and about whether or not Alex Chason is going to make the team. So Canucks fans, as we sit here now, after two days of training camp, from what I've told you, from the highlights you've seen, from what you've read on Twitter, any new developments for you? Anything very intriguing to you? Or is it kind of more the same old, same old? You just want to see some exhibition games. And of course, we want to see some regular season games. And of course, we want to see contracts for Pedersen and Hughes. Apparently, not a lot of movement on that front as of today. No new movement, I should say. So leave a comment below and let me know how you're feeling right now. And again, a shout out to my hero members, Nux fan number 29, Just Incredible, Lucas Gates, and Andrew Chang, and to Hall of Fame members Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Brewfield, and Shannon Hollingworth. Thanks to the support of all members of all levels. If you want to come and join us in the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or any of my videos or in the memberships tab on my YouTube channel. So again, subscribe if you like to, like this video if you like to, become a member of the channel if you like to, leave a comment below if you'd like to. Tomorrow morning, got to be out on the road by 8. 30 or so, 8.15, so I will not do a vlog tomorrow morning. Rather, I'll do a vlog once I get back and to give you my reflections on day three, the final day of training camp. If you're there in Abbotsford, let's try and say hello to each other at the during the day. Okay, friends, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Have a great evening. God bless, and go Canucks go.